This is Jay from Team 10100 Phoenix Force. We're participating in the Robot in 30 Hours Challenge, and uh, our team is here to present some of the sub-assemblies that we made so far. Uh, both of these are the airplane launchers, and we've got a couple over there that my, the rest of my team is going to showcase. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Check out the new Robots building system by Animark. Designed for accessibility, iteration, and progression in mind, Robots encourages rapid iteration and promotes development of critical thinking and problem solving. Integrate Robots with your team. Head on over to Animark.com to learn more and order today. Hi, um, so this is my paper prototype for a rubber band launcher for the plane. Um, I'm working on a metal version of it to actually put on the robot right now, but this is just the first paper version of it. I basically just did some research on paper airplane launchers and found this. What it is basically, it's a folded paper and then a stapled rubber band here, which you then will attach like this to the end. And then in this little like area here, you put the airplane um, and then to launch it, you just pull it and then it releases the tension on the rubber band, which makes the airplane go far. It's so, and on our metal one, we're using a motor and a couple screws to hold a rubber band. Um, and we're gonna keep it a, on a very low speed so it doesn't go very far. So hopefully it'll land in landing zone one and get us 30 points. I'm using this to make a metal version. It's not even like screwed in fully yet. But it's basically like this, and we're going to have two button head screws here that will connect the rubber band and a motor here, or what Rishi showed, to launch the airplane with the rubber band. This sub-assembly that I made is made to launch the airplane into the three scoring zones so I can get points in the end game. We're aiming for the 30 point zone, so the velocity is a little bit lower than we'd want. Um, so, Rishi, we can load up the plane and show you guys. We're using the uh, Go Build a Element receiver to test and uh, iterate, and we'll attach it to our uh, expansion hub and control hub later on. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Much We're never going to prototype some more and iterate on this design. Uh, this is the first first test. Thank you for watching. Um, go check out all the Robot in 30 Hours on Fun's YouTube page. First updates now. Um, yeah, thank you and check out the videos. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Check out the new Robots building system by Animark. Designed for accessibility, iteration, and progression in mind, Robots encourages rapid iteration and promotes development of critical thinking and problem solving. Integrate Robots with your team. Head on over to Animark.com to learn more and order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.